Why, hello, welcome everyone back to the adventures of Hildebrand and also Dermot and Victor out here in Costa del Sol. It's late at night, but the case isn't solved, so we've got to get back to work. No rest for the weary. No rest whatsoever. Not a wink of sleep. Not even the most fashionable weary. <laughs> It's true. All right. I think the next quest is just going to be right here. More or less. No, that's not leave me. That's not, that's not the quest we're looking for. <laughs> All right. Quest giver. Oh, I think it's over here. <laughs> Back in Costa del Sol. Oh, no. I was going to be running off to Wineport, which is definitely not where. Definitely not where the quest is. Oh, but more cheese. More goblin cheese. I love me some goblin cheese. And also any opportunity to chat with Shamani Lamani. I just kind of love that character oh, as well. I see. I see what happened. You didn't. You need to reactivate it in New Game Plus. Since, uh... <laughs> I did it again. Dang it! Oops. <laughs> see, it's stuff like this, which is why I'm still like assistant detective. <laughs> still got so much learning to do before I can be considered a professional. So, ah, taking notes. I see. Very mm -hmm. good. Very good. Ellie has the latest information on the Phantom Thief's target. Derman, I was wondering when you'd show up. I've got the latest scoop on the Victor's spoils that our many-faced friend has set his sights on. Have you visited the Coliseum of late? There's a tourney in the works, and it's looking to be a big one. The Mithril Cup, sponsored by none other than Amagina and Son's Mineral Concern. They say that Master Fyrgeis Fyrge will be furnishing the prizes himself from his personal collection. Small wonder it's captured the attention of Mr. Sticky Fingers. You are familiar with the concern, yes? It's only the largest mining interest in the Sultanate, after all. The chairman, Master Fiergeis, sits on the syndicate and possesses such wealth that rumor has it he could buy half the realm if he chose to. He's also renowned for being something of a martial arts enthusiast. With his position affording him little opportunity to test his own skills, he settles for living vicariously through the exploits of others, hence his sponsorship of tournaments like the Mithril Cup. My colleague Ganelon is in Alda, covering the tourney as we speak. If we were to track him down, I bet he'd be able to give us something to get our investigation started. That sounds perfect. I'll just get us right there as soon as I remember where the snap... There we are. Ooh, you've assisted me with the snap travel. Ah, yes, of course. Perfect. Looking good, by the way. Also, we should we should party up. <laughs> we should, yes. <laughs> I forgot. It's the start of a new session, so we're... Commune our travel fees. <laughs> getting back in our rhythm here. Gandalon, hello. Yes, I'm a busy man. If you're looking for small talk, I suggest you look elsewhere. No need to be rude, Ganelon. He's a friend of mine. Now, what say you share your latest findings with us? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Uh, Ellie! Hmm. If it isn't the Mithril Eye Star Reporter. Come to have a laugh at Ganelon's expense before returning to pen your latest front page feature, eh? Ah, no, oh, very well. Just promise me you'll put in a good word for me with the higher-ups, okay? Now, let me tell you this. There's a strange... There's strange things afoot at the Coliseum. Bugger all, it's a travesty, I tell you! Who's talking? No idea. Oh, it's these guys! Oh! <laughs> Hotch, Hugh, and Hamo. Whatever's the matter? And where, pray tell, is Hutchin? The four of you will compete in the cup together, yes? I fear that an unfortunate mishap has left Hutchin in no condition to fight. We were just on our way to convey the dire news to Dower Meadow. Mishap, my arse! This was sabotage! Some bloody coward out there will stop at nothing to eliminate his competition. I swear it on me subligar! <laughs> so, fill me in. I've not encountered these guys. Are these guys in from another side quest chain? I, I think so. Um, <laughs> I think they must be from 1.0. Oh! And... Also, Hildebrand mentions training the Fist of Ralgar with the mantra what's-its. Oh, okay, 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 all right. All right, yeah, a 1.0 reference makes complete sense. Yes. I, I love it, okay. Lower your voice, Hotch. My head stings enough without your bloody shouting. People really need to walk on screen before talking, please. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, Hutchin, should you not be resting your wounds? Oh, but forgive your, incompe uh, your incompetent, unworthy comrade. If I had been quicker with my mantra, we would still be four men strong. D 
Do not berate yourself so, Hamo. In victory and in defeat, the Montrevilles fight as one. You bear no more responsibility for my wounds than I. There we go, the Montrevilles. The Montrevilles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Any road. I dare say I'll not be getting back into fighting fettled by arson about in bed. I'm ready to chant some mantras about the lot of you. Hutchin, for you I'm always ready. Now that's what I like to hear. A thousand mantras and I want each one to ring out over the Sagoli. Ha <laughs> What a strong brotherly bond they have. <laughs> The Montrevilles? Aye. As Hutchin tells it, they took their name from a training partner they met at the Fist of Ralgar. There you go. A man, <laughs> a man they most admired for his devotion and chiseled physique. Consider me not the least bit interested. This talk of attacks on the competitors, however, of this I would hear more. Ah, yes. I mentioned the strange things were afoot, yes? With mere days left before the Mithril Cup, a staggering number of would-be combatants have withdrawn, citing a host of curious ailments and injuries. With the list of entrants shrinking by the day, the organizers have been forced to abandon the elimination format in favor of a mass melee between what few battlers remain. A phantom thief's challenge. Gladiators dropping like flies. No, this is no mere coincidence. I would speak to the individual in charge of the event. Uh, where might I find him? Though the concern sponsors the tourney, the day-to-day -day organizational duties are being handled by a fellow by the name of Dower Meadow. He should be in his office within the Coliseum's halls. I'll send word to the gateman, Yuyubaya. He owes the Mithril Eye a favor or two. Splendid. Come, Dermon, we've got a case to crack. Ooh, sounds great. Tournament arc. Yay, oh, that's gonna be fun. Coliseum's near the Gladiators Guild, as I recall, yeah? It is yes it is you're right all right you know your old da well <laughs> i started out as a paladin ever so briefly what did victor start as <laughs> a paladin as well actually the first time i played he started out as an archer um before i lost my password to that account and had to make oh, a new no. one <laughs> but uh now uh, on this one uh, this is my second character, my second account that I've ever made a long time ago. Uh, he started as a, as a gladiator as well, and I've tied it into his backstory that he was born in the Shroud, but left for Thanalan for greater opportunities. Oh, I love it. And the Sword and Shield is only appropriate. Of course. Iconic. Of course. From the Mithril Eye, you say? Then by all means, you're free to enter. I'm Ellie, reporter for the Mithril Eye, never blinking, all seeing, you know the deal, yes. And you must be Dower Meadow. I was hoping I could ask you a few questions about the upcoming tourney. <laughs> Who am I to argue with free publicity? And from a charming little thing like yourself. Ask away, me girl. That said, between the challenge from the so-called Phantom Thief, and now these bizarre attacks targeting the fighters, our tourney's already talk of the town. Not that you'll see me complaining, provide someone still left to fight, that is. You're free to investigate as you wish, but you'd be smart to exercise some caution. Needless to say, recent events have everyone here a bit on edge. Why, just moments ago, one fighter almost took off another's head for insulting the colors of, of his Sudbligar. Looks like we've got ourselves another. Hmm? <laughs> These two aren't in the entry books. It's okay, they're more important. <laughs> and, oh. And it's a knockout! <laughs> and our challenger unleashes a vicious right hook as the gentleman inspector was channeling his strength for his next attack. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. K.O. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. Uh, <laughs> Inspector Briardian, as efficient as ever, I see. A true <coughs> issues violence, <laughs> Inspector. You were thinking. It annoyed me. Dower Meadow, I presume. 
Tell me everything you can about the prizes for this tourney, and try to be brief. Was wondering when you might ask. Master Fiergus has spared no expense in making the Mithril Cup the most lucrative tourney this Colosseum's ever seen. The victor will receive a true measure from his collection, the Warden's Grace, a ring filled with the largest sun sphere you'll find outside a Karn. The second and third place prizes are nothing to sneeze at neither, but I don't care how many faces he's got, we've nothing to fear from this thief. The Concern has hired an elite regiment of stone torches to watch over the vault day and night. Yes, just as the brass blades were so successful in stopping the thief last time. If you want your treasures safe, go fetch them and bring them to me. And be quick about it, I haven't all day. Fear I can't do that, Inspector. After all, what proof do I have that you ain't Mr. Many Faces in another of his elaborate get-ups? No, if you want to get your hands on the spoils, you'll have to claim them as any other would, in battle. As a matter of fact, what with the ranks thinned as they are, we're actively recruiting new competitors. The more the merrier, and the more lucrative at that. <laughs> Now, where did our receptionist get off to? Over here, you slimy bugger. We've got some fresh bloods in the for the melee. Give me a moment, will ya? I've only got eight arms. Oh, or were they legs? Oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. You called? I was just about to give the lovely Miss Avila the grand tour. I've never really thought about what voice this character would have. <laughs> I personally like to imagine he sounds like King Candy from uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Heck yes, I'm I'm in. <laughs> uh, Inspector Hildebrand, look, he's purple. Astute as ever, Nashu. This color, this overabundance of appendages. I smell a case. Ah, that's just me, receptionist, old throats. Don't be startled now. He's an ugly little bugger, but he's friendly enough. Word has it that he was one of the many bizarre creatures born from the recent experiment with ancient incantations at the Thaumaturges Guild. They were going to seal him away in a hole in the desert with the others. When he opened his slobber and mouth and started pleading for his life, I just want to live in peace. I'll do anything, anything. So the management hired him to perform odd jobs about the Colosseum. And am I ever glad they did. I tell you, this job ain't glamorous, but it sure has its perks. What a delicious morsel. I want to get my tentacles around her. Gross. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I know not who you are or where you hail from. I can't figure out an accent. And I do <laughs> okay. not care. If you dare challenge me, my Tempest Blade will show you no mercy. You can forget about your case, Inspector. There is only one who will claim the victor's spoils, and that's me. Well, here you go, Final Fantasy VI fans. It's a treat for you. <laughs> Ooh, I just love it when she talks tough. Now, who's the chump who wanted to get a pummeling by my lovely little Avi? <laughs> oh. oh, it's me, isn't it? Though a gentleman takes far more pride in rescuing fair damsels than fighting them, I fear we have little recourse. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall do what must be done to- Dermon Durami will be entering the tournament on my behalf. Dermon Durami? You do look like a Durami. Well, bugger me with a spear to think I'd see the day when a warrior alike stood in my coliseum. Hear that clink, clink, clinkin'? That's the sound of gill pouring into our coffers when the public finds out that a true Eorzean hero will be stepping into the ring to fight for the Mithril Cup. Oh, and I reckon your friend can tag along too. Show him where to sign, Ulti. With Dermon, I suppose we have as good a chance as any. 
Now we just need to make sure he doesn't come down with some curious injury. That gladiatrix. Avila, was it? Seemed quite certain of her chances at victory. Suspiciously certain, I would say. Ha <laughs> ha I already... I am already ten steps ahead of you, Inspector. That Ultros fellow seemed most knowledgeable about Miss Avila. Come, Nashu. The investigation is afoot. As much as that sounds like an amazingly productive line of investigation, might I suggest that our first priority is to keep Dermon here safe? Let us return to Ganelon and see what else he can tell us about these mysterious attacks on the combatants. Very well. I shall leave that task to you. I have a lead of my own to investigate. Should you uncover any new information, I trust you will share it with me at first opportunity. Oh, sure. Hope you're ready for the tournament, Ark. Oh, it's fun being back in this, and I am! All right. Speak with Genelon in front of the Coliseum. Okay, let's head back out there. Snapping would have been faster, but in my defi- Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Nothing. Just, um... Yes. Dress for the job you want, right? We're going to be uh, going into the Coliseum. Got to be a gladiator. Got to dress for the part. Very good point. Maybe I should actually, like, <laughs> dress up a little better for going into a fight. No, I no, mean... Actually, I like this. I, I'm so attached to this. I don't... I can't remember if I gave you credit. You did make this little get-up for Dermot. I really adore it. I did. I think I did say that, but because of that, I'm keeping it on. Because I like it. Yeah. It'll be part of my... This can be my little, like wrestling persona going into this fight. <laughs> It'll be perfect. I'm the boy detective. What's your wrestling name? <laughs> the mm. the S Smash Potato. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and in this corner, it's Smash Potatoes on the top ring. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I can't look. All right, here we go. You again. I've already told you that. What? Entering the tourney, you say? Are you out of your bleeding mind? Look, I've got a suspicion or two, which I'm happy to share with you, but in the end, you have to protect yourself, you hear? So I've been asking around, and it seems that more than a few of the fighters who have pulled out of the tourney were scheduled to fight a warrioress by the name of Avila. Now, I can't make any promises, but my instincts tell me this girl is bad news. Don't take it from me when you can hear it from someone who crossed blades with her just days ago. A fellow by the name of Raging Rat has the inf has the misfortune of being matched up with Avila in the preliminary round and earned himself a right bruising from it all. Last I heard, he was resting up back by the Pugilist Guild. Why don't you pay him a visit? Why don't I? That's close by. So close that this will be even faster. There we are. Raging Rat. How fare ye? You want this one? Uh, you can take him. I took the last guy. Come to have a good laugh at old Raging Rat's expense, have you? Well, you're not the first. I say, is there not a man of this entire realm with an ounce of sympathy? Greetings, good sir. How fortunate you are today that your guest is Hildebrand Mandeville, gentleman and inspector. Now, if you would, please enlighten me to how exactly it was that you were beaten to a bloody pulp by Miss Avila. Gentlemen, my arse. Have you not a wit of delicacy? I'd never ye mind. Look, the records may say I lost, but I'll admit to nothing of the sort. I'll shout it at the top of my lungs if no one else will. The girl doesn't fight fair. Tempest Blade? Some kind of foul sorcery, if you ask me. Mark my words, that girl's up to no good. If she weren't so damned easy on the eyes, she'd be rotten in jail as we speak. The girl's all a vegan, or haven't you heard? You know how it is with those refugees. They fight with honor when you've got nothing to lose. Or why fight with honor when you got nothing to lose? Yes, and why not disparage an entire people in a pathetic attempt to salvage your sorry pride? This one's a real piece of work, Dermon. Let's be on our way. I didn't mean no offense, miss. I'm just tell it like it is, as it were. Uh, always a good defense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all fine, then. Perhaps it truly is some manner of sorcery, as the fellow says. Or perhaps she works with an accomplice? She didn't strike me as the magic-wielding type. If I were a betting woman, I'd put my gill on the ladder. Ah, Miss Ellie, the thrill of the chase has struck a chord with you as well. Yes, I can see it in the wrinkles beneath your eyes. We might very well make an inspectress out of you yet. I'll give you a good wrinkle, you insensitive boar. <clears throat> if what the man says is true, it's likely that her fellow Alamegans might sympathize with her plight. 
An accomplice would hardly be out of the question. Yes, I can see it now. Two unfortunate souls shunned by those around them, united by destiny and a common desire for justice. Ample appendages whirling wildly, sending gusts of wind flying every which way. A vela and ulti, a match made in the heavens. Were it any more obvious, I could have solved this case without leaving my home. Incredible. Your powers of deduction never fail to amaze, Inspector. What is it with you two and that infernal octopus? Mr. Ultros should still be at the Colosseum. Let us hurry before he slithers back off to whencesoever he came. No complaints from me. <laughs> That's a fun voice to do. <laughs> right? <laughs> What is that actor's name again? Who voiced King Candy? Oh, I don't know. Um, He's like Wash as well in Firefly back in the day. Like, he, I never would have guessed that he would make the pivot to voice acting, but he's fantastic at it. Alan Tudyk, I think it is? That's his name, yes. Yeah. That's it, perfect. He's also the chicken from Moana. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he's basically turned into the John Ratzenberger for Disney animation, yeah. where he's just kind of secretly in everything, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Ultros. Excuse hello, me. Ultros. Just behave. <laughs> Shh, friend, and look over yonder. Behold those exquisite legs, those stylish tentacles, the unearthly undulations of his squirmy, squishy body. Yes, our friend Ulti is a most fascinating creature indeed. Behold how he carefully eyes the gladiatrix before him. What manner of mischief is he plotting? He speaks! Yes, this is most suspicious indeed. Oh, what is this? The girl has fled in a panic. Our friend Ulti appears to be discouraged. Look at the way his shoulders sag, or how they would sag if he had shoulders. Our quarry is on the move. Quickly, Nashu, we must pursue. Yeah, uh, 2010's Japan. <laughs> uh, I understand that, like, um, usually when people are telling me about the Hildebrand quests and some of the stuff in it that's a little bit like, eh, I hear that's usually mostly in this A Realm Reborn stretch. Yes, from my experience, uh, they kind of are more tasteful in the later expansions. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Let's see, to the col- wait, the Coliseum's right here. Uh, just not seeing there. This is the Coliseum, I thought. Bring back here, but... Hmm. Maybe I don't know where they- I guess that's an entrance to go fight in the Coliseum for some other quest lines. I got myself turned around. Uh, yep. Yep, so, I'll be there in a moment just as soon as the map <laughs> tells me where to go, I see. Oh, there, yeah, that makes sense as well. The front door, fine. If you want to be conventional. I'm here on time. Hello. Mr. Ulti seems to have found himself another gladiatrix. What might he be plotting this time? Look at those succulent legs. I reckon they taste just wonderful in a good marinara sauce. Mmm. 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 <laughs> marinara sauce. <laughs> I really love it when you have a thought and you say it out loud just before a character in game does. Yeah. <laughs> it's always fun. Ah, he speaks. And another girl rushes off. Whatever did he say to her? He looks so sad. Shall we douse him in lemon butter and put him out of his misery, Inspector? <laughs> Whatever is he doing with these girls anyway? Call me crazy, but I think he likes them. <laughs> likes is definitely a choice of word. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just processing happening on these two brains here. Poor Mr. Hiltros didn't seem to have much luck with the ladies. Speaking only for myself, I'd love to have him for dinner. Perhaps in a nice <laughs> lemon butter sauce. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Nashu, I love you. I really like Nashu as well. Hildebrand is contemplating the implications of Ultros' behavior. Poor misunderstood ulti. Eh. Here, <laughs> eh. I don't know about that one. Here we suspected him of criminal activity, when in truth he was just a gentle soul luckless in love. Oh, ulti, can you find it in your squishy, slimy heart to forgive us? Yes, yes. Now, perhaps we should return to our investigation. If Avila is as suspicious as they say, perhaps we should follow her around for a bit. Dower Meadow back at the Coliseum should be able to enlighten us as to her whereabouts. An excellent idea, Miss Ellie, but I have a better one. Let us return to the Coliseum and speak with Dower Meadow. From him, we shall ascertain Miss Avila's whereabouts, upon which we shall follow her about to see if she is indeed a susp as suspicious as they say. Come, Nashu. The investigation calls with this idea that's totally mine. That is a better idea, Inspector. I'm glad you had it. <laughs> Don't think Uncle Ulti didn't see you following me. What's the big idea, huh? I'm nothing more than a stupid octopus. <laughs> or am I? Da -da -da. Come on now, I just want what any octopus wants. A cute girl, untold riches, and the admiration of millions. Can't Uncle Ulti dream? Well, kids, hate the ink and run. Then again, I am an octopus. And the fourth wall is gone. Just uh, utterly obliterated. <laughs> In a good way. Mm -hmm. To the steps of Thal. Snap. There we are. This is much better than me just trying to actually walk in a direction and see if I chose the right one. <laughs> yes. What is it this time? I'm a busy man. Looking for Avila, you say? She said something about sharing a flagon with her countrymen over at the Coffer and Coffin. I reckon you might still find her there. I'll warn you, though. If you're smart, you'll keep your distance from that one. That poor bugger Ganelon tried to interview her for an article. Thought the girl was going to rip his head clean off. How can I put this? She doesn't seem to take kindly to being asked questions of a personal nature, if you catch my drift. That said, if you're looking for a good sparring match to warm you up for the tourney, that might be just a ticket. <laughs> I can assure you there will be no need for gratuitous fisticuffs, my good sir. With my remarkable powers of espionage, we will ascertain all the information we need without the fiery lass even being alerted to our presence. Let us be off. Mm, gratuitous fisticuffs. Another good name for my for my persona in the <laughs> ring. All right. Ooh. To the coffer and coffin, then. We're all over the place. And here we are. It's very windy and dusty outside. But mystery waits for no one and no weather. Behold, the lovely Miss Avila, just as predicted. Let us keep watch from here so as to not set off the girl's famed temper. How many times must I tell you? There is no cause for concern. The spoils shall be mine. It may as well be written stone. Do you realize what this means? We have suffered and suffered long, but my victory shall make a new era. Just as Rauban Aldin won a new life for himself in the Colosseum, I shall win a new life for our people. The prize that I shall claim will bolster the wealth of our people a thousand, no, ten thousand fold. In a land where wealth is power, we will we will be kicked to the gutter by the Uldans no longer. And with that, I must be off to Nanawa Mines to meet my sister. I mean, I did work once. That's true. Miss Avila's self-assurance is ever a sight to behold. I deduce that my own chances of felling her on the battlefield are infinitesimal. I could have told you that before you signed up. Come now, we have a suspect to pursue. I really enjoy that whether, like, whether these characters buy into Hildebrand or not, they all just kind of get pulled into the gravity <laughs> of Hildebrand and Hildebrand's adventures. It's great. Yes. <laughs> Trying to steal Avila from Uncle, Uncle Ulti's tentacles, are you? I'm afraid that isn't going to happen. Yes, Uncle Ulti's homemade explosives will see that this is the end of the road for you. Does that make me a bad octopus? Ah! The distinctive smell of fire sand. Another one of your handcrafted explosives, I take it, Nashu. 
Heavens no, Inspector. This is far too elaborate to be one of mine. Do you think whoever crafted this would be willing to give me a lesson? They're on to me. Preposterous. Could it be that the muscle head isn't as stupid as he looks? I see. In any case, I shudder to think of what might happen if an unsuspecting passerby chanced upon a, such a hazardous object. Allow me, Eve. Oh! Oh dear. You gotta be kidding me! Come up and. <laughs> this, if there was ever any place in Final Fantasy XIV for Ultros to go, this feels right. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine him showing up to fight Nidhogg at the end of the Dragon Song? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fun to imagine. Mm. I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. Something to be said about the whiplash that would happen. <laughs> that maiden in mining garb must be the sister of whom Miss Avila spoke. Let us listen a bit closer. I thought we agreed. No hard labor until your leg is healed. I swear, sometimes I think you were born solely to give your poor sister headaches. Says the girl who once fought off ten Imperials with one good arm. Perhaps someday you'll understand that your little sister can take care of herself just as well as you. Speaking of which, what news of the tourney? Worry not, Hegelina. I've taken all the necessary precautions. The Warden's grace is as good as ours. Even the most modest estimate of value is worth at some 30 million gil. Do you realize what this means? Necklaces from Esthames. Sun silk dresses, all the luxuries you've ever wanted will be yours. The poor little girls in shabby clothes, objects of pity and scorn from the old dawn upper crust. Those days are over. After I claim victory, we will take our rightful place at the top of society. I, I don't know, Avi. Wealth is all well and good, but when I see you stand tall in the Colosseum, hundreds of thousands cheer in your name, I... I'm proud. No matter how humble our birth, if we stand strong and stand together, this alone is all the wealth I ask for. That is your problem, Hegelina. You've always been too quick to settle for less than you're worth. But worry not, for your sister is watching over you. I will do this for us. Now, I must return. Gods forbid one of those prying reporters overhears us. That's my Avi. Unfazed by a duel to the death, yet terrified to be caught in a moment of tenderness. May the gods smile on you, sister, and be safe. <laughs> a more moving display of sisterly love I have not seen, and yet I fear it has afforded us little in way of prospective clues. It would seem Avila's obsession with victory runs even deeper than we imagined. That said, I can't help but feel a bond with a girl. My sister and I were alone in the world too, you see. Inspector! Did you just hear what I heard? I'm on it. Look, kids, Uncle Ulti has had enough to hear with you. Do you think you could just fall into this pit and die like a good little boy? <laughs> I'm talking to you, Mr. Warrior of Light. You hear that sound? Just one step closer. Closer! Not you, you idiot! Um, no need for concern, friends. I have simply taken the liberty of investigating this hole in the ground, and am pleased to report that there seems to be nothing out of the ordinary. Our hero. Now, shall we return to Ulda? The Mithril Cup will be starting before long, and the last thing we want is, after all this is to lose our bout by forfeit. Could it be? Did that musclehead dive straight into my trap to save his companions? The others seem completely unsurprised at this turn of events. Doubtless he has performed such selfless acts before. A true gentleman, if ever I saw one. But if you think that means I'm gonna show mercy on you, you've got another thing coming. Time to break out the big guns, kids! Wait a minute. I dug two pits, didn't I? I come to think of it, the second one was right around... 
Oh, give me a break! <laughs> Hildebrand continuing to show his indestructibility. <laughs> Which I really enjoy. All right. Let's head back and do a fight. All right. Oh, well, no fights yet, then. We're going to... Guys, what's going on? Yes? Is something the matter? We're on something of a tight schedule here, Inspector. Stand back, Miss Ellie. My well-honed inspector's senses are tingling. I fear a most fearsome adversary lurking about. <laughs> Inconspicuous. Mm-hmm. This time you're really up the creek without a paddle, kids. <laughs> Say hello to a not-so-little friend of mine from the Coliseum. He's large, he's in charge, and most of all, he's hungry. <laughs> he whispered, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Where in the world is he? I haven't got all night. Whoa. And gone. <laughs> Cue Smash Brothers ring out sound effect. <laughs> Game! <laughs> oh, my Chimera! Who is that half-naked fool? Father, could it be that the aura of unmitigated murderous rage that I felt was not our quarry, but you? Hildy, I was merely taking a stroll in search of inspiration and materials for my newest masterpiece in the making. And what brings you and your friends to these parts today? Just a bit of sleuth work, father dear. And with that, we must return to Uldah. If you've not heard, your son is set to compete for the Mithril Cup. Oh, -ho! moonlighting as a gladiator, are we? A fitting second career for a Mandeville man, if I do say so myself. That muscle-bound old man is the inspector's father? Remind me never to get go to one of their family reunions. Gah. Just who is this inspector, anyway? Hildy Hild is a... Oh, you take this one. Uh, Hildy is a worthy rival, if ever there were one. Uh, who goes there? Wait, no, this is you. Oh! It is! Ha! Hildy. Derman. I've been waiting for this day. Well, looky who we have here. You're quite the intimidating gent yourself. A friend of the inspector, mayhap? I am Gilgamesh, wandering duelist, and I'm not so much the inspector's friend as his enemy. Well, that makes two of us. Perk up, Gulliver, because this just might be our lucky day. Is there no one in this accursed realm who can remember my... <sighs> Call me what you will, friend. But heed my words, Dermon is a formidable foe. That sounded like high praise coming from a big fella like yourself. To have such a powerhouse as his sidekick, that inspector must be something else indeed. I know not what brings you to do battle with these two, but I warn you, you'll end up as seafood soup if you face them alone. And with that, I must be off. For reasons that I do not entirely understand, I am considered something of a fugitive in these parts.
Dermon, I will not fall so easily this time. Well, looks like I got my legs full. All eight of them. But if that adventurer is too strong to take on alone... I'll just have to bring along a friend. <laughs> this is a pretty great rogues gallery Hildebrand is accruing. Yeah. A supplely twisting ring calls to mind the undulations of a creature of the sea. Yes, inspiration has struck. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, nobody here but us octopodes. Look forward to your next life as a masterpiece, friend. Uh oh. Pursuits. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's on his way. <laughs> There's no hope. <laughs> Muscle heads, I hate them. <laughs> Fun fact, that is the secret limit break four that we do not have. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. <laughs> Someday when we're powerful enough to withstand it. All right. I think it's time to get ourselves to the Colosseum at last. And here we are. I gotta say, your your ability to pose yourself along with the ensemble so frequently and naturally. <laughs> very impressive. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Good heavens! Chancing upon father like that. I dare say it's taken a year off my life. Quite a crowd has assembled. It would seem the festivities are nigh about to commence. I had hoped to uncover more of Miss Avila's secrets, but no matter. What better place to continue my investigation than on the field of battle? I can't think of one. I say he can, he can just solo her. Yeah, yeah, you know? probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hildebrand appears to be in something of a hurry. Good heavens! We haven't much time before the tourney begins. We must hasten back to the Colosseum and apprise ourselves on the rules of engagement. To a true gentleman, the battle is not about victory or defeat, but fighting with honor. Whatever treachery or guile my opponent may employ, I must not, I will not lower myself to their level. That's a good rule to live by. Mm -hmm. I can respect that. A true gentleman. Yeah. All right. To the Colosseum, then. I think it might nearly be time. Is it just me, or is Mr. Ultros a bit lumpier than he was before? Oh yeah, he is up there, isn't he? <laughs> Bumps on the head, chipped teeth. I am one shabby looking octopus. I tell you, they don't pay me enough for this. But that's all gonna change soon, isn't it, buddy? That's pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> ah, Mr. Ultros, just the octopus we were looking for. I was hoping that you might enlighten us as to... Egad! Who gave you those ghastly bruises? B bruises? I, f I fell down the stairs, that's all. I get lost. I'm a busy octopus. I'm really winging it here. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! You have my sympathies, good sir. It is challenge enough to coordinate four limbs, let alone eight. Hmm? Is there someone inside your office? No, no. Whatever gave you that idea? I'm simply uh, fumigating the place for pests. Pests like yourself. Now, don't you have a battle to go fight? <laughs> Inspector, I think something's alive in there. That, that, that's just me, uh, talking to myself. Yes, fun, gah. Gods, yes, gods. Working as a receptionist is fun. 
battered, bruised, beset by vermin, and still able to find joy and fulfillment in your work. I must say, Mr. Ultros, your passion for your chosen profession is truly an inspiration to us all. Oh, goodness, I almost forgot about you. Dermon, if you would come with me for a moment. I fear the stupidity in the air may be contagious. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, what have you been getting up to while we've been doing all the hard work? Well, has your investigation borne any fruit? I see. Avila seeks to win the tourney to claim a fortune and raise her and her sister out of poverty. Furthermore, she has implied that she's taken the necessary precautions to ensure that her victory is all but certain. While trailing her, you narrowly evaded a series of dastardly obstacles, and upon your return, that strange octopus appeared considerably worse for the wear. The evidence points in one direction. The Alamegan girl and Ultros are plotting together to claim the Mithril Cup and its lucrative prize. It is not as preposterous as it sounds. I've done some research on our eight-legged friend. It would appear that Ultros has become something of a regular at Uldaz taverns and, uh, houses of pleasure. I suspect he's using his inside knowledge of the workings of the Colosseum to identify and eliminate potential threats, thereby ensuring victory for Avila and earning himself a healthy commission. There's also the matter of the Tempest Blade he's, that is rumored to be the source of the Alamegan girl's strength. This remains a mystery, which means that I fear your life is still in danger, Dermon. One of the guards informed me that several crates of refuse from the Colosseum reception room were ha hastily discarded in Pearl Lane not bells ago. It's a stab in the dark, but the contents may yet provide some answers. I would ask that you bring them to me. Well, all right. I can fetch trash. Mm -hmm. To the markets. To the markets! Well, hello, conniving ne'er-do-well. I don't know if you're relevant to the story, but you have a fun name. The family ain't interested unless you got a business proposal, pal. You got it? Good, now get the hells out of here. I will, I'm busy. Hmm. What other interesting trash have we here? <laughs> interesting trash. If you gotta collect trash, let it at least be interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found five gil in someone's coin purse. Ooh. <laughs> That's almost like getting paid. <laughs> almost. Someday. Wait, you get paid? <laughs> Tataru just kind of throws me a hat every now and then. Just like, here you go. <laughs> she pays us in fashion, which to be fair, seems like something that would happen in this world. Of course. It's what most of us are wanting anyway. Really shrewd business mind on that one. Mm -hmm. I found trash. Do you want it? Well, let me see what you found. A large wooden box containing all sorts of detritus gathered from the Colosseum. Some of it still twitching. Oh dear. Twitching? Now what have we here? Ah uh, yes, a spectacular assortment of innards and entrails and... What's this? A sack, even more foul-smelling than the gore it was lying in, if that could be believed. And look here, something appears to be written on the side. Sintgot's Sundries. It would seem this merchant has had dealings with that squishy mass of tentacles. Let's pay a visit to the man and have him enlighten us on st as to the exact nature of this partnership. Very well. Goodness, you're giving me the runaround. I, you know what, I'm just doing this. And here we are. Sintgot! Welcome, welcome! What might a discerning gentleman like yourself be looking for today? Well, I have for you. Uh, battlefields the day after slaughter smell better than the unknown contents of this bag. What will you give me for this? I'm sorry, sir, but if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. No exchanges, replacements, or refunds. I stand by the quality of my wares, and I expect my customers to do the same. Wait, how did... Now, did Ultra send you? I'll be asking the questions here. What exactly did you sell to that ungodly creature? Why, an entire sack full of gold truffles. Can you believe it? What with the impressive price and that, uh, distinctive aroma, they're only for the most discerning of customers, which Mr. Ultros clearly is, as he just placed another order today. Hmm. 
Could these truffles somehow be connected to... No, I shall stop myself before I start sounding like... Inspector Briardian, it wounds me, wounds me that you would sneak off to conduct your investigation without me and to steal away Dermon here. This gentleman is not impressed. Did you find anything, Inspector? Good gods, what is that dreadful smell? Miss Ellie, I would have expected a cultured young woman like yourself to be more educated in this... in the... Picurian arts, sure. That is the most <laughs> distinct and delightful aroma of the gold truffle. An acquired taste, to be sure, but one that has warm, that has won the hearts of many an Uldan gourmet. I particularly enjoy them slow roasted, as my dear mother makes them. Roasted, you say? Why, my mouth watering just thinking about it. Might I be so bold as to ask the recipe? It appears the productive portion of this conversation has come to an end. Besides, the tourney is about to begin. Let's make haste back to the Colosseum. Yes, sir. Oh, looking at this quest in hindsight now, I can see the mystery and pieces fitting together. Oh, I'm excited and intrigued. Briardian has seen enough incompetence for the day. Oh, you think you're done? <laughs> well, that merchant proves to be a spectacular waste of time. Time which is in short supply. We must return to the Colosseum before the battles begin. Here's the plan, Dermon. I shall find a suitable vantage point to observe Miss Avila in combat. Until I've ascertained the trickery behind her abilities, you are to keep a wide berth of her blade. Understood? It's a deal. I mean, I try to do that all the time. <laughs> but thanks for the pointers. Good tip. Beat them and don't take damage to win. Yes. <laughs> there you are. I was this close to starting the melee without you. <laughs> I'd be remiss not to tell you that there'd been a slight change of plans. Another contestant suffered a last minute injury, and none other than our very own Ultros has stepped in to take his place. Oh. With everyone's favorite octopus joining the two of you in the fray, spectators are just pouring in, and bookmakers across the town are raking in the gill, which ain't a bad thing for us. Word has it that Master Fergus himself is quite taken with my promotional skills. Aye, the future's looking bright for old Dower Meadow, it is. So, what say ya? Are you ready to get your arse kicked? <laughs> yes, sir. So, yes? Aye, that's what I like to hear. Ladies and gents, it's time for blades to whirl and limbs to fly. Sorry, I was practicing my puppet talking. <laughs> this should be fun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, plutocrats and paupers, open your eyes and steal your stomachs. The Mithril Cup brought to you by the ever charitable friends at Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern. Your concern is our concern is about to begin. I hate sponsors. <laughs> uh... Who will stand atop the heap of maimed bodies and twisted limbs to claim victory? Will it be the temptuous Avila of Alamigo, Dermon the famed warrior of light, or who is that grinning fool again? Ah, that's right, Humberbatch, agent of infamy and imbecile extraordinaire. Humberbatch, come on now. Or will it be our 11th hour entry, Ultros, the eight-legged purple purveyor of pain? From the rafters, even. Beautiful. Wahaha! <laughs> <laughs> Here I am! Did you miss me? Aye, I'd say we have a battle for the ages here, folks. Combatants, take your positions and let the battles begin!
All right, you know the deal. We team up and wipe out the others. Then when it's just the two of us, I'll take a dive. And you receive your share of the winnings. I've not forgotten our promise. <laughs> Slip it slidey. <laughs> Smash Potatoes leaps into action. Hey, I do that move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at Avila's blade spin. Why, she's a veritable whirlwind of death and destruction out there. They breed them tough in Alamigo, that's for certain. You are next. Okay. Here we go, ladies and gents. Once my buddy gets a whiff of these raw truffles, he'll be sneezing up a storm. Literally. <laughs> Ah, nothing like the rich aroma of rust roasted truffles. All this fighting has given Uncle Ulti an appetite. Is it time for dinner yet? Wait a minute. Roasted truffles? Braised in a savory sauce, just like Mother used to make them. Feel free to have seconds. There's a whole sackful where that came from. <laughs> that meddling muscle head! What's taking him so damn long? The girl's gaze gives it away. Open that gate at once! Oh my. What is that monstrosity? I'm confident this isn't another Final Fantasy, but it's escaping me right now. <laughs> Mr. Typhon, is that just stomach I hear rumbling? Could I interest you in some roasted truffles, perhaps? What fascinating friends you have, Ulti. Why, just look at this charming little nose. Hmm? Is he perhaps suffering from a case of the sniffles? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Could it be Avila's vaunted Tempest Blade? It was that monster all along. The girl played us all for fools. <laughs> Don't look at me. It was all her idea. I'm just a stupid octopus. You were the one who approached me, you double dealing fiend. I just wanted to experience the thrill of battle. You know, for my work and all. Come on, Dow, has Uncle Aldi ever lied to you? What did I tell you? I knew there was something fishy about that Alamegan whore. That'd be nice. <laughs> Alamegans, tch, beggars and brutes, a lot of them. We'll give them a home in our land, and this is how the thanks and this is the thanks we get. Send her to Garlemald for all I care. Just get her out of my sight before I get sick. Welcome to my hometown, everyone. It's great here. But... But I just wanted to... M my sister. I feel for the girl. Really, my little octopus heart goes out to her, but the rules are the rules, right? Now, if Uncle Ulti may be so bold. 
I say we call off the melee and have a final showdown between the three remaining competitors. That'd be me, my buddy Typhon, and Durbin here. What do you say, Mr. Warrior of Light? Hey, that's what we want to see. All Tros! All Tros! <laughs> All, All Tros! Tros. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> the perception of a goldfish. Well, this is a most unprecedented turn of events, but who am I to deny the wishes of such a passionate crowd of martial arts aficionados? The venue, Halatali, the fighters, the tag team of Ultros and Typhon versus the Warrior of Light. Who will be left standing when the storm has settled? Be there or miss a battle for the ages. Oh, there you are. Ah, oh, he's fine. <laughs> he's okay. He's dropped from higher heights. True. You okay? You good, buddy? <laughs> he did not fight as a gentleman. That is true. So, to review, the truffles were to elicit a sneeze from the octopus's oversized crony, which would be positioned so as to appear it was coming from the Alamegan girl's blade, allowing the two to sweep away their opponents with ease. No wonder I wasn't able to see it sooner. It's quite possibly the most imbecilic scheme I've encountered in my years as a consulting inspector. At any rate, we've no choice but to trust in your abilities now, Derman. Let us make for Halatali. And fun little detail of the mystery that I was noticing, that's why it was bared with a bunch of, like, entrails and rotten flesh to mask the smell. Of course, uh... That does actually kind of make, like... A smart kind of sense. Yeah. <laughs> Mingled in with all the stupid sense. <laughs> yeah. It's fun having some of the really smart sense in there. Just yeah. a little bit. For flavor. All right, to Halatali, let's go. And here we are. All right, Mr. Meadow, I'm ready. Well, this tourney's turned into a right mess. With all that trouble, I took preparing consolation prizes for the melee. It looks like we won't be needing them after all. Of course, as long as you're bringing in the spectators and the profits, I could give a gnat's arse. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. Two against one ain't fair, especially when one is one of the two is the size of a small house. So here's the deal. Why don't you bring along some of your friends for the battle? Let's say seven of them. That should even the odds, yeah? That sounds perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got us another fight. Let me assemble a crew and we will be getting right into it. Right back. All right, and we've got ourselves a team. Let's see, Victor here, and uh, Inara will be handling tanking, healing will be Miss A, and Synchronous, and helping me with the damage will be Nira and Kunoa and Bailey, which is good, because I don't actually know this fight very much, but I'm very excited. Let's go to the Dragon's Neck. It's a frenetic free-for-all as the Mithril Cup moves to Halatali for the climactic confrontation. Rain will lash and winds will bluster in this perfect storm of a battle. When the Tempest subsides, who will rise above the chaos to lay claim to the victor's spoils? Will it be the Warrior of Light, savior of Eorzea and champion of her people, or the dastardly duo of Ultros and Typhon? All will be answered in Halatali atop the dragon's neck. Let's go! Let's get ready to rumble! Woo! <laughs> oh, Ultros, what have you been eating? Huge! Combatants, the final confrontation will be held here. I didn't read the whole thing. If all members of the team fall from the platform, you're eliminated. Seafood soup is not on the menu today, kids. We're talking very fast, I guess. Yes. <laughs> oh, the good classic music, too. Mm -hmm. Good times. All right, that is the one thing I do know about this fight. Um, if you get knocked off the edge, you have to stand outside for a few seconds, and if everyone gets knocked off, uh, we lose. Something like that. Something like that. We'll be fine. Let's do it, team. We gotta beat both of them. Mm -hmm. Typhon's gotta be from Final Fantasy VI, and I'm just not remembering. Must be. No, really, this is our last battle. Honest. <laughs> and you gotta be careful, because these guys do definitely have moves that are gonna knock us around. Nope. 
including the sneeze. Ah! Oh no. I've been turned into a thing. Oh, you're a little kappa. I'm a little kappa guy. Now, if I understand correctly, I did try to look up a little bit on the fight. I do want to get hit while I'm in this form. I want to get hit by Ultros' water, like, attack. Hmm. Because that, like, stores up a charge of a thing. Kappas do like water. There, okay, I've got, like, a wet plate status effect, which apparently... I need to hit this guy with at some point. That's what all the other Kappas are doing. <laughs> and I follow the crowd. Ah. Oh, no! Knocked off and stunned. I'm out of bounds. Temporarily out of bounds. And I'm... Oh, here we go. Severe snort. I don't know if I still have a charge of that. Give me another charge of the water. Before we get sneezed! Ah! Ooh. Not all of us are out. Hey, we're back in. We're fine. This is a fun gimmick fight. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Takes a lot of positioning into account. Yeah. Ah, oh, no. And this be again. the uh, Final Fantasy VI music, yeah? Oh, yeah. Some good Final Fantasy VI battle music. Oh, speaking of positioning. <laughs> I'm okay, just a little stunned on the outside of the ring. I'm back in. Oh, yeah, it just it's a steady breeze. We gotta... Mm -mm. Gotta just be staying carefully positioned. On the move. There we go. Ooh, Rip Bailey. Oh no. Come on, Ultros. More water, please. Oh, it seems they can't be res. They're like out, out. Oh, they're out, out. Oh no. Yeah. Perhaps they were knocked off the platform too many times. Oh dear. I didn't know that was a thing. Yee -hee -hee. <laughs> I live! Ha <laughs> ha! All right. We're not out yet. Just almost. Oh, boy. Yeah, these two seem to effectively be sharing a health bar. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we Typhon got is one down. down. Oh, boy. And Yay! so is Ultros. We win! Floored again. I feel like such a sucker. <laughs> Ooh. Good death animation. <laughs> and Dermon cleaves the Mithril Cope. Yay! Good job, everyone. Thank you for helping us out. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> and welcome back, you two. That was de <laughs> delightful. Our champion, Dermon Durami. <laughs> they love doing this. Thank you so much for joining us, you lot. Uh, and for keeping a secret as we're trying to record this all hush-hush. Mm -hmm. But yes, all right, let's get back out there and continue the adventure. But before you do, there is one little piece of loot that may be a of loot? interest to you. Oh, I should probably grab the loot, huh? Hang on. What's the loot to do? It's... Oh, it's a little wind-up, Ultras. <laughs> oh, cute. Ah, cute. Ah, delightful. All right. See you outside, everyone. And here we are, the victors. Good show, Dermon. Your performance has earned us front row seats at the award ceremony. This should afford us the perfect vantage point to thwart the thief. Come, let us return to the Coliseum. Yes, let's. I'll see y'all there. And here we are. All right. What do you think, Mr. Meadow? I feel like we did great. It was a battle for the ages, but a worthy victor has ridden to claim the spoils. And now, let's take a look at the relic that our champion has won. Ooh. I'd love to see. Behold, 
from the personal vaults of Master Fergus himself, the Warden's Grace, a timeless treasure like the lights of which our realm has never seen. One that's earned the attention of Eorzea's most prominent pilfer. Ha ha ha. Above you. Ladies and gentlemen, inspectors and invertebrates, the opening act dragged on over long, but worry not, the main event is about to begin. You! I know that you paid well for your seats here today, but I can assure you that my performance will not leave you disappointed. Now, I invite one and all to sit back and enjoy the show. The theatricality. I respect it. Oh no. He's got the audience eating out of his palms. <laughs> Vile feed! Mark my words, you have stolen your last treasure! I swear it on the Mandeville name! Uh-oh. Oh no! <laughs> I think not, Hildegard! G Greg! Tis always a pleasure to reunite with old friends, but your timing truly leaves something to be desired. <laughs> An actual laugh track, I like it. Dermon, you pestered me once, but not today. I shall have my revenge when I pierce your chest with my spear. Do you not mean your skewer? My spear! Thief? Is there not a shred of honor in you? Return my weapon at once! Oh, it seems we have an unexpected guest. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I fear attendance at today's performance is by invite only. Uh oh. Now it's raining truffles, but the battle's already... M Mr. Typhon? Uh, uh, just a moment, I'm sure I had a tissue here somewhere. F -f 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 oh no. And somehow... Dermon has two feet firmly planted. Oh, something firmly. <laughs> a little bit of a slide. <laughs> See, smaller, making him more aerodynamic. Oh, yeah. Low center of gravity. Low everything, really. <laughs> alas and alack! The ring sails straight into the hands of the fiend! Giving up so soon, are we? Those don't sound like the words of a Mandeville man. He's here! Beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Boy, they're having fun. But of course, brilliant father. If the ring won't come to us, I shall go to the ring. Why, it'll be just like Downward. Hildebrand, Helador, Maximilian, Mandeville. Skyward, as only a Mandeville can. Father, you know not your own strength. <laughs> Oh dear. Nine hundred and ninety-seven, nine hundred and ninety-eight, nine hundred and ninety. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh thank you, do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, thank you, do. <laughs> Uh, back in the days when Monk could heal. <laughs> I forgot about that. You're right. These legs, they look strangely familiar. I kind of love that, like, the one unkillable being in this world. <laughs> this is what he gets set up to. Like, <laughs> that's how he spends his time. <laughs> Put a little too much spin on that one, it seems. Yeah, he is indestructible. Not exactly as planned, but who can argue with the results? Save for one thing. This ring is a fake. But no matter. I have a feeling this will lead me to the true treasure. Until next time, friends. You have been a most attentive audience. Uh, that key! Uh, bloody hells! Guards! Seize the fiend at once! Oh dear. Godbert completely unconcerned. <laughs> Never thought to use bombs as party poppers. <laughs> she liked it. Uh, it's too late, sir. The second prize, the Ring of Inquiry, it's gone. Second prize. What is the meaning of this? Many faced fiend or no, the man spoke true. Master Goldsmith's eye cannot be deceived. This sun sphere is clearly a second rate replica. Preposterous! It's just uh, the dim lighting. Yes, if you'll just step over here. Have you taken ill, friend? You seem to be perspiring most heavily. Let's not be so hasty, friend. I can explain.
He's okay. I sold out my honor, joined forces with that odious octopus, all for a false treasure. What a fool I've been. Whatever was I thinking? Do not berate yourself so, Miss Avila. Why, it was exactly as you said, was it not? You were thinking of dear Hegelina and nothing more. I suppose I was at that. Hmm? How do you know my sister's name? I assure you, young miss, under no circumstances did I tell you to the Nanawa minds to eavesdrop on your intimately personal dialogue with your beloved sister. Ugh, you... you... Uh, you have the right of it. Blinded by the prospect of fortune and fame, I lost sight of myself and what I truly was fighting for. My honor and my sister's trust will not easily be regained, but I will not shirk from the challenge. Ah, truffles. <laughs> I almost didn't even see it. <laughs> One mystery still remains. Before the thief had identified the ring as fake, he had already acquired the key to the storeroom. Clearly the second prize, this ring of inquiry, was his target from the start. But why? There must be some pattern to the items the fiend has stolen. A pattern that betrays his true intentions. The Treaty Blade, Hazima's Virtue, the Ring of Inquiry, all relics with quite a history. Or, to be more precise, relics from the era of, ba of the Baladians. Oh-ho! If that is so, the answer is clear as day. The Fiend means to found Eorzea's greatest museum of Baladian history, pushing up the prices and gouging honest men out of their hard-earned coin. Doubtless another one of his cards will appear on the scene to tell us just as much. Any moment now? Wait for it. Give it a minute. There it is. Hey. Not the usual delivery method, but. <laughs> my, my. Again, the theatricality. <sighs> oh no. Bless you. I have enjoyed our little game, but all good things must come to an end. I shall claim the four sacred treasures, and justice shall be served. Oh, I love Kid <laughs> So this is the thief's final challenge to us. But what are these four treasures of which he speaks?
Where the four treasures of Belladia become one, the wicked shall be judged in the blazing light of sun. An old legend, little more than a fairy tale at that, and yet it seems the Phantom Thief believes there is some truth in these words. Four sacred relics from Belladia. The Warden's justice. Lofty words coming from a glorified footpad. One who's winning over the common folk by the day if rumors are to be believed. It would seem the tale of a master thief ruffling the feathers of the rich and famous have won the man more than a few admirers. Consider his targets thus far. An Uldan collector and her hired thugs a trading mogul and the brass blades, and now a mining magnate and the stone torches. Is it any surprise that the sympathies of ordinary old dons would lie with the perpetrator rather than his victims? Astutely observed, Miss Ellie. Our quarry clearly harbors no small degree of resentment for wealth and authority. Might his next target be a member of the Syndicate? Perhaps the Sultana herself? Oh, not again. Oh, no. <laughs> We just got that resolved. Ha ha! Then it will be his doubtful. For the greater challenge, the higher I rise. Uh, uh, just one moment, if you would. Mark my words, ye of many faces. There is but one man who shall lay claim to the four lost relics of Belladia, and it shall be Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Yes, I'm sure that inspires all of us with great confidence. Hmm, was that? No, it couldn't be. Ha! <laughs> Methinks Godward may need a new pair of spectacles. But these look so good already. Yeah. I think we may have completed another chapter in this adventure. Indeedly do we have. And things are coming to a head. Let's get ourselves a preview. It's a race to recover the four lost relics of Belladia. As the fiend's true identity and aspirations are revealed. Will Eorzea fall prey to the forces of evil? Or will our hero do what only a Manderville can? Hildebrand will return in her last vow. <laughs> the key to the next case is a mask. Have you ever worn a mask for so long that you forgot what you actually looked like? I have. And how did they freeze in midair like that? Talk about a mystery. Oh well. See you next time. Ah, uh, I believe one chapter remains of this little adventure, and I for one am excited to see how it concludes. So, join us, won't you, next time for the finale of this little stretch of Hildebrand mystery quests. Take care, all of you, until then, and we'll see you. Goodbye!